there's a good chance that most of you have heard of the color changing lizard, the chameleons. I imagine most of you probably said yes to that. You've probably seen a veiled chameleon or a panther chameleon on one of your favorite YouTubers channels. What if I told you we had a color changing snake? Stick around and see more, let's go. Is Rowan a brand new morph of hognose snake? Is she just a hormonal witch? Maybe she's just a glorified bull python morph. Or maybe she's suffering from an autoimmune disorder. <laughs> it was found in a study on crotalus or rattlesnakes that levels of stress hormone, the corticosterone, actually did have an effect on the metacrosis that they undergo. This is just over a year ago. A match made in heaven when you really think about it. This is the mutant of this video. So as it turns out, there are several different species of snakes that seemingly spontaneously change color. But before we get into that, my name is Mike Titula with Alpha Reptile and the junglevault.ca. I am a reptile enthusiast and keeper slash breeder, probably like you. And I'm here to share my love for specialty pets, including reptiles, amphibians, and sometime soon, hopefully some fish. If you think that's something that you're into, you want more videos like this, educational, cool reptiles come together. If that's something that you're into, you can click the like button. And when you're down there, you might as well click subscribe. But back to the color changing snakes. And there are several different snakes that you might hear going through an ontogenetic color change, which means they hatch as one color and then as their life course proceeds, they change into a different color. Most notably, this is found in things like emerald tree boas as well as green tree pythons. Typically they hatch out either a nice red or a yellow color. And as they grow, they slowly fade into that beautiful bright green that they end up turning as mature adults. But that's not what I'm talking about when I mean color change, or I might refer to it as metacrosis throughout this video. Basically that means a rapid change in color. That might be something new you learned. I know that's a new word for me, so I figured I'd share it all with you. Now with this metacrosis, I mean something that deliberately changes its color. There are a few snakes that come to mind that I have heard of before, and I talked to my buddy, Cody Joe, one of the best breeders in Canada in terms of rare pythons and even boas as well. He has been featured on this channel before several times. I'll leave links in the description for you guys to go check out, but he has something that he's hopefully producing this year for the first time, and that is the Pop One Olive Python. When I was talking to Cody about it a few months back, he mentioned to me that they do change color, so they were the first snake that I thought of when this whole color changing snake idea popped in my head. And so I texted him, he replied saying that sometimes they're almost black, including their head coloration. And then other times they're completely olive green with like a dark gray head. And then sometimes the back is completely green where the sides are like a light mustard or even a gray coloration. So they definitely do change color. There's not any papers or anything that I could find that kind of relay this information scientifically or even any other accounts of it online. Maybe you guys can link me on Instagram or something if you do find something. It is fascinating to me that something so large does change its color. That's a lot of cells working to change the color of this snake. But beyond Cody, there is a snake that I did find some papers about, and that is one that I've never heard about before. It's called the Cap Pua mud snake. And there's really not too much online about it. I could find one scientific anecdote, I suppose you could call it, that shared they grabbed this mud snake, put it in a bucket, and it ended up changing a bright white color. The researchers thought that somebody was playing a prank on them. <laughs> Got he. And that they switched the snake out for something else. But it's just fascinating to know that there are snakes in the world that do change their color. Now that change in color variation might not be quite as dramatic as our good friends, the chameleons, but the snakes put their best foot forward and we have to give them some credit for that. But that was me just mentioning a couple little case studies of snakes changing color. Something that typically doesn't come up when you're talking about snakes that change color are Western hognose snakes. Let's go get Rowan and have a look what I'm talking about. I am not food. I appreciate it, but no. Alrighty, here she is. Some of you guys might recognize this as Bree's first hognose Rowan. This is the mutant of this video. You guys can definitely see that she has extremely dark coloration throughout her entire body, 
with little kind of splashes of almost white. Her head stamp has changed a little bit. I'm sure you guys who have seen Rowan from the very beginning of me moving to Ontario know that this doesn't even look like the same snake, and I would agree. Let's check out some footage from some of my past videos just so you guys get a bit of a comparison. And here she is. This is from April of 2021. This is just over a year ago. Look at her. She is entirely different. She is very pale with dark splotches as most anaconda hognoses are. Nothing special here. And then again, coming up to the next clip, this is from June. Really not all that much has changed. Maybe slightly darker with a little bit more fading coming down from those anaconda splotches, but otherwise very, very similar. And finally, we have a clip from the end of August, and she is starting to look a lot different here. She's looking a lot darker. There's still no real white or any real change of color in that sense, but you can see definitely overall she's darker. Although it is worth noting that you can see by her eye color and her belly color that she is deep in blue. So that definitely will have an effect on her overall coloration. And back to me again, real time as of April, 2022 this is what she looks like. You guys had a good look at her earlier, but I mean, just a completely different snake seemingly. Thing is, she's not. She hasn't gone anywhere. She just laid a beautiful healthy clutch for us, so it's not that she's not doing well or is ill or anything of the sort. She's doing fantastic. Now, given that you have seen her in her current condition and have seen her in her past self, I wanna hear from you and what you think might have happened to Rowan and what is going on with her genetics, with her hormones. Type it right now and then don't submit your comment because what we're going to be doing is illustrating four potential reasons why I think she has changed color or why myself and a few friends think. While you're down there, again, feel free to click like. It's free, it helps me out. Maybe it'll help Rowan get back to what she once was. But do we even really want that? While you're leaving your comment in the comment section down below, feel free to click subscribe, stay tuned. Uh, maybe we get an answer to what's happening, maybe we don't. Now let's go explore some reasons why Rowan might have changed colors. And now that you guys have left your comments down below, let's chat about our first option, vitiligo. Now some of you might be like, dang, are we talking about Michael Jackson? <laughs> No, but he did suffer from vitiligo. Now some of my audience might actually know who that is. Some of you kitties might not. <laughs> Regardless of whether you know who he is or not, vitiligo is an autoimmune disorder that attacks and kills the melanocyte. So basically the cells in your skin that react to a tan, like give you a tan, basically create melanin. So like the dark pigment, those die and the resulting tissue turns completely white. It is a relatively uncommon occurrence. Anywhere from about 0.5 to 2% of the entire population suffer from this. That is humans, obviously, but I don't think any of you care what it has to do with the human populations. We're talking about snakes or I guess we should be talking about reptiles in general, not just snakes. And with that being said, vitiligo can be found in animals. It has been documented in a water buffalo. It has been documented in several different cats and dogs. So it is around in the animal kingdom, but I couldn't find any confirmed cases of it in reptiles. So what does that mean about Rowan having the potential to be suffering from vitiligo? I don't think Rowan's color change is due to vitiligo. And there's a couple problems that I see. One, I think that she has increased melanin in other places, decreased in some, and kind of shifted her melanin throughout her body. So that brings me on to the next point. <laughs> That point being paradoxing. Now my good friend, Brian Barczyk, as you might know here on YouTube, as well as Jeff Galewood or JMG, the boss, I suppose you could call him, um, have mentioned that paradoxing could be one of the factors that is playing in her change of color. And I actually did end up speaking to Brian on the phone about it, and he's obviously more familiar with ball pythons, unfortunately. This is in hog noses, but in ball pythons, there is something called IMG, and that has to do with the metacrosis or the change of color, which typically develop like a gray patch and then get very dark depending on what their pattern was. Now this typically occurs after something happens with their scales, 
whether this be a small instance of potentially scale rot or even something as dramatic as just a terrible shed, this is typically when that IMG happens to it. Now, of course, that is in ball pythons. I don't know of anything like IMG in hog noses, but maybe we have the first one. Uh, I definitely think that the paradoxing or IMG phenomenon is potentially what could have happened to her. Editing Mike here, I have kind of thought through that statement and I don't think that is in fact the case. Honestly, after watching back the footage, you can definitely tell she starts to shift her color in about June of last year ever so slightly. And then by August, she is already much darker. So I genuinely don't think that the IMG IMG has anything to do with it because that was before any skin related issues. That was before the betadine soak. So I'm kind of revoking that statement. Hopefully I can do that in the editing bay here. Now we can transition back to the video and continue exploring what else might be possible with this crazy snake. So I want to thank Jeff for giving his insight to Bree and Brian for helping me out with potentially getting to the bottom of this. But there is more that we need to figure out. And there are a few other things that might be going on with Rowan here and they're definitely worth talking about. You know the feeling you get when you are stressed or anxious for a test or some big event like an interview coming up? Well, you can thank your good friend cortisol for that. That is a hormone that you and I have and reptiles have something similar. In reptiles, their stress hormone is called corticosterone. It's a very similar molecule to our kind of stress hormone. It does actually control to some level their metachrosis. But you might be asking yourself, well, Mike, how does stress hormones have anything to do with coloration? And it was found in a study on crotalus or rattlesnakes that levels of stress hormone, the corticosterone, actually did have an effect on the metachrosis that they undergo. I'll leave the references down below as well as on the screen so you guys can check it out if you're interested in the paper. But at a very base level, what they did was capture these snakes, analyze their corticosterone levels. Some snakes actually were basically induced to have more corticosterone in their system, while some were just baseline normal what you find in the wild, they measured their response to a stress scenario. What they found in the end was that there was a positive correlation with increased corticosterone levels and a more stark contrast between the light and dark bands, meaning that they underwent color change because of being stressed. But could it have been as drastic as Rowan's change? And to be honest, no, I really don't think that it is reasonable to assume that Rowan's color change is specifically related to a stress response. Why do I think that? Because she has been eating normally. She did just lay a clutch of eggs, so that would be stressful, but she's been hydrated. She hasn't been acting stressed to myself or to breathe. And typically when something is under stress, you notice they're either aggressive, flighty, or something of the sort. And you guys have seen throughout this whole video that Rowan hasn't been any of those things. She's been a typical hog nose, maybe not sitting completely still like she is now. I do also believe that it would be kind of unreasonable to witness such a dramatic change just due to a stress response. I know there is some other animals like chameleons and other things that are very good at changing color that do make such dramatic change. But in a species that really doesn't change color at all, even under stress conditions, I think it would be kind of unreasonable to suggest that this is solely due to a change in stress hormone in her body. Although I will say that it could be possible that it is a combination of different hormones leading to such a dramatic change. Who knows? Again, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And now I think it's time to tackle the most exciting possibility. That is a brand new morph. And to talk about this new potential morph, we're bringing out our brand new morph, Lux. No, I'm just kidding. He is a normal albino anaconda. Nothing crazy genetics wise. The new gene possibility is definitely something exciting and very new but also highly unlikely. 
I mean, to have a completely brand new morph of Hognose Snake just come out of the blue like that is very, very questionable, I suppose. And I don't think all that likely. However, there has been some promising, I suppose, anecdotes from a few of the offspring of Rowan from last season. Fortunately, if you guys stay tuned, click that subscribe button, watch the channel regularly, you will be kept in the loop with any new potential traits or anything that come from him and her. A match made in heaven when you really think about it. Now I will admit, if you guys are excited by the possibility of there being a new morph, you guys can get in contact with us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, the YouTube comments I suppose, but I'll just direct you to Instagram. We do have several breeders already waiting in line for offspring. So if you do want to be part of this potential new gene craze, I don't want to oversell it to you. It is just possible. It's a complete fluke and it's nothing crazy, but it is possible that there is a new gene afoot and it's here to stay. But that's all I got for this video. So what do you guys think it is? Is she just a hormonal witch? Maybe she's just a glorified bull python morph. Or maybe she's suffering from an autoimmune disorder. He is my wingman for closing them out. So I wanna thank you guys all very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, like I said, click that subscribe button, click the notification button right next to it, as well as let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think is happening. Is there something I maybe didn't consider? I would love to hear it and I would love to have a conversation down there because we're all about learning here and that's what I want to encourage in the comments down below so thank you guys all very much for watching we'll catch you in the next one from Toto <laughs> from Toto <laughs> from Totoka and myself I want to thank you all very much for watching we'll catch you in the next one later